So I thought I had some trunk in, but don't laugh, don't hate me. Wix's. I had to get some 100 per 50 from Wix's and the end caps. That killed me. 5 99 5 99 for two. Anyway, fitting this gear today. Thanks to Consuming It World for sending me the stuff. Shout out to George. Uh, yeah, we're going for the miniature Taipei RCBOs. We'll get into that in a minute. Ready out. Good morning, everyone. Shout out to George, my contact, Consuming It World, sending me the gear. They've provided us, not us, you. I don't get any commission for this. I literally get the stuff sent to me. You get a 10% off discount. I know a lot of my Instagram followers have used this code. So go take advantage of this code, 10% off the fuse box range at Consuming It World. So what we're doing today, we're fitting the miniature RCBOs. Um, I think they're trying to plug these a little bit. They're really, really good. I've, I've got a 14 way board a switch fuse to fit and a, a, a um I've, I've created a 100 amp isolator out of just a four-way consuming it two blanks and a 100 amp switch if you remember this job this is where i did the testing we're going to sort the tails out put 100 milliamp rcd at the board end so it's protecting the 16 mil earth um twin and earth coming into the to my board and then i can fit 100 amp switch and then take my tails out of there to the meter from the meter to the fuse board so Let's get on with it. We've already done all the testing, so we've kind of got an idea that all the rings are good, etc. But we will retest once I've terminated and stuff. So let's get on with it. Should be an interesting video. So here we go. Back again. No fan, no isolator. So this is what we're doing. Changing this board, ripping that out. Sort the door out. Let's look at this. Sort this out. Might see if I can relocate the meter into here to make it a bit easier for me so yeah let's get set up bit of an awkward one but hey ho that's life definitely gonna need these bad boys today definitely gonna need these today yeah got them all in there I need to, I've got back now look So first thing I'm going to do is just go and prove dead this, go and isolate it in the building. I'll show you that. I'll show you the switch fuse, what I've got to fit um, in that location, just to provide those tails with a bit of protection, because at the minute they've got no RCD protection. This is a TT, and I think it's about 70 ohms, if I can remember. So we want to put 100 milliamp time delay RCD on those, okay? All right, so the board's now dead. I've just been chatting to the client about the meter that's mounted in the little cupboard the back here so he's dead i've done him with my proving unit so them tails are dead that comes off of a that actually had an 80 amp on it in there 16 mil which is naughty and there's no rcd protection so cupboard's a bit more full than i wanted it to be but so this is now dead so i can at least strip this out of hopefully they're going to get rid of this meter so we can just lose these horrible tails um that's what i want to do basically and then literally my tails these tails will feed straight into the board rather than coming through a switch to an isolator, to the meter, back to the board. So we'll see, eh? So are these cables dead? See, they've got the one, two, three, four, five, up to eight. What I'm gonna do now is do my marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you get the picture, and then when you disconnect, you know exactly where, where they came and they correspond with the front of the disc board schedule here. So this way I'm working is a b, &B tagged onto a massive, um, this like a holiday cottage let, let cottage holiday thing, whatever you want to call it. And that's a massive b, &B it's an old forge. And um, they've had a sparky in. I need to show you the port. <laughs> if I can get the cover off, I will, but. Um... Got some tails coming through the side of the board and he's just put tape apparently these are good sparks i don't know i don't i'm not i'm not trying to pick phone people's work i'm getting away from that i just want to show you the errors 
in people's ways rather than moaning about look at this look at this people don't like it when i do that so i want to show you the errors why it doesn't sort of comply in my eyes yeah i do actually like the design of these they push in the bar there look nice design that so the client has just given me the fantastic news that we're going to lose the meter okay so this was a meter that the previous um client put in because um they had they actually rented the cottage out and they wanted to meet at their supply so they know how much to charge them monthly for the meter in but this is now an airbnb place so they don't need to know that they own everything so they want me to rip these tails out and um, the only thing i will have to do is put a little bit of mini trunk whatever i don't know i might move this doorbell as well for them so it's right next to the board and then the doorbell um it literally goes back entry um to a bow out there so these are now be my incoming mains tails and i can literally just mount my board up here now and i've got no need for an extra isolation switch in here to accommodate this and then the meter in so that saved me a bit of time actually well happy with that so i'm just stripping all these cables out so fair play to the last bloke he's actually thought of me and left some slack so i'll do the same i won't cut these short i'll leave the slack in the ceiling and just pull as much as i need and cut them off yeah look at this not touch these ones yet nice and tight not well lucky eh that one's good ish yeah all bloody loose if you ask me apart from that one so one out of two two out of four sorry it's good it's quite satisfying that get rid of these So we go fuse box 14 way RCBO board with a built in SPD. They now give you the MCB to protect the SPD because they're not happy with, well, they were happy, but then now they want us to not rely on the DNO's fuse, okay? So I've just been had a look. What I'll do is I'll bring my mains cables in there. They'll run straight into the main switch. And then I'll knock these ones out. These will um, be for the cable entries. Right, what I'm doing now is just offering the board up, getting the cables in the relevant holes where they're going to come through. So mains, mark that at one, so it'll run one from right to left, okay? Bring them through the relevant holes, then I'll mark the holes and drill them. Right, all the cables are now in relevant holes, I've just got to push that home. But what I'm going to try and do is flip this transformer, get that cable in the ceiling and over so you won't see it. So I managed to fish a new cable up for the... Um, Bow transformer that runs up, comes out here now. I've pushed the board up, all the cables are in there, the only two short ones. The rest I'll push back up because we want to keep as much slack, you know. It's always nice to keep slack for someone, isn't it? And then um, I'll just mark these four holes and fix this up now. So my board's mounted, there's all the fire grommets installed. These are the only two short ones. Um, but they'll be long enough, they hopefully go into this RCBO. If not, I have to put a Wago in the back and put a bit of cable on it. There's the mains coming in. These are all nice and free, so I can push the slack back up into the ceiling now. Four washers on each corner. Now, probably just do a time lapse now, to be fair. People say don't do a time lapse, but I can't have this set up for two hours while I make this off. It's just, it's not going to happen. So, time lapse it is. Here is where I am at. I've put the main switch SPD and now get an MCB for that um, protect that, air, that um, SPD look. 
Comes straight off the buzz bar now, so that's your overcurrent protection for this bit of cable, basically. So my mains cables are gonna come straight into here, live and neutral, and then the bus bar is gonna go along here. And then I'm gonna space these out. I don't know, I might do space two, space two, it depends how I wanna do it. But so I've got the miniature RCBOs and the um, proper rail blanks that go in, yeah. So this is where I'm at, I've stripped all these, I've pushed them out of the way, apart from the light, and I'll just do those last, because there's only three um, up and down, door bound um, smokes. Well, there's no way to get a good angle on this, so unfortunately you're going to have to have that angle. So as you can see, I've put a blank in there. What I'll probably go to next. So obviously I start on my highest breakers on the right and work my way along. So we've got a 32. Look at these little miniatures, look. Nice, aren't they? So we've got a 32 and a blank. And what I'll do is we'll go for another 32. So we've got cooker, say ring final up, and then ring final down. And then what we'll do is, go for another blank. Just for the heat, this isn't in the regs, this is just a personal choice I've now made with findings in other people's work that they're doing that the heat from these RCBOs is terrible. So to have a gap between, to let the heat dissipate, if you like, um, I think is a benefit. You don't have to do it, it's just something that I'm going to continue to do now. So and I know Fusebox are making this SPD into one unit, so that space that you're losing. So if you order a 10-way board, it comes as a 9 now because you need it, that for the SPD. So they're going to make that a single way and then um, you'll have 10 ways, 10 usable ways again, yeah. And then we got the 16s, I think one's immersion, one's boiler. Blank. on the floor. <laughs> oh, this is so awkward with this toilet. So awkward. I put you on my steps and it, it was wobbling too much so it looked absolutely awful. That one. I'll show you this in a sec. And two more sixes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is a 14 way board. One, two. And then, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's it. There we go. Right. Let's have a little look. There we go, SPD, cooker, sockets up, sockets down, immersion, boiler, whatever that is. I think there's a three amp fuse on it here, so that's fine. Lighting, lighting, smokes and doorbell, all nicely spaced. Yeah, so I'm just gonna make it off now, simple as that. Don't do what I just did and put them all in the corresponding numbers because it's, um, it's incorrect. Because I've missed one, haven't I? So it's one, space, three, four, space, like that, rather than one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. Right, and, and spoke to you for a bit, so I thought I'd better come back. Here we are. Um, these, these boards have got so much room in them now, look. So the other RCBOs used to come to about here, the tall ones. These are game changers, these little ones. I'm not just saying that, but they are. Look, you could play football in there, ice hockey, golf, whatever you want to do. So all the cables are in. I will dress these in a little bit neater. Just, they are neat, but it's just see these little crinkles in the cables, just trying to straighten them up. 
Didn't need the way he goes, managed to get that one to go in. Uh, um, luckily, I placed him in the exact the right position. So I'm just going to get these um, earths dressed in around the front, as I always do, and then we'll have a look at him. All right, board's done. He's done. I'm going to just stop now, clear up, so I've got a load of rubbish everywhere. Get all my stuff out here, and I've got to go and look at the cable the other end. That's going to be the tricky bit today. So, look, you can see the board's done. It's all off. Nothing's live yet. I've got to do all the talking up of all these bits and bobs yet, but I want to do my end-to-ends first um, on these rings, just to check my... Because um, I've already done a test on this, I just want to come back and check what... Um, as long as everything's okay, you know. Not entirely sure what that blue thing is. If anyone can can um, let me know what that is, put it in the comments below. So this is the cable that feeds the board that I've just done. It was buried behind here. Um, this is rough. You know why it's rough, look. It's just put a bit of um, duct tape on there. This is crap, he's built a wooden containment. Loads of holes everywhere, so yeah. Let's not look at that anymore. So my new unit's gonna go here. Two tails out of here to feed it. Then I've gotta pick up an earthing system, find the main earth. Which I presume it might be that one, not sure yet, and then put a put an MET in and then I can use that as my main earth to feed this unit.
on a 16. Comes in through the RCD, through the fuse, out. Neutral, through the RCD and out. Okay, 100 amp, 100 milliamp, time delay. <sighs> Done. Whew. It's very tight here, but what can you do? Supported. Oh my God, finished. Don't even know what the time is. What's the time? Oh, shh. Copy. Right. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let me have a look. Just want to say again, a massive shout out to Consumer Unit World for sending me the gear for this one. Don't forget to use the 10% code. Um, I don't get any commission for this. This is just a little thank you um, to them for giving me the stuff. So if you go and order, you get 10% off. So I don't make anything on this. So it's quarter to six. Not bad considering I didn't start until 11. The, the people checked out at 10. So we wanted to give it an hour. And then I came in and worked. So we've done the board, done the main switch. What a ball ache. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me on another one. Again, please hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Even if you didn't, please give it a thumbs down. It's all interaction. It all helps out the channel. So see you on the next one. Take care.